This is the third property of an APC chieftain in those states that has been allegedly affected by unknown persons with explosives. At the time, the news crew visited the residence of the victim located off Airport Road in Benin City. Signs of destruction were visible, occasioned by the explosion that rocked the residential building. Owner of the affected building and APC chieftain, Engineer Lawrence Oka, who said his family member, including his aged mother, lives in the affected building, said at about 12.30 a.m. this Tuesday, he heard a loud explosion outside his bedroom which caused damage to the area hit by the explosives. Lawrence Hukar, who said though no life was lost, accused the Edo State government as allegedly behind the attack owing to a decision not to support the second term bid of Governor Gordon Obaseki. The victim and his brother, including a former federal lawmaker, Patrick Obayagbo, while condemning the action, called on the police to fish at the corporates. Around 12.30 uh, in the night, I had a loud bound from my house compound. Boom! So I was worried, and I called my security man. What's going on? They went around and said, it looks like a bomb. Since it's, uh, this government will put in place what is happening now. However, we are not deterred. Uh, those that plan this evil will meet their water load. I was actually shocked. I was place completely so i just managed to drive myself here now i didn't expect this at all we have been playing politics it has never been like this and it shouldn't be like this i have always said that uh, agreements and disagreements are necessarily necessary ingredients that overall any democratic machine but it must be seen to be devoid of cranky ploys and political delinquence i think all composmates homo sapiens should deprecate this uh, this should not be allowed to stay Edo State Police Public Relations Officer DSP Chidu Wambuzo, who confirmed the incident, said the command has been briefed and investigation has commenced. One Honorable Lawrence Oka reported through a distress call there was an explosion in his uh, compound. On getting to the scene, they discovered that uh, there was an explosion. The explosive left a very large hole on the ground in the compound there. Then the windows, glasses, ceiling, doors were shattered. Uh, the investigation is ongoing. Engineer Lawrence Oka is, however, hopeful that the police will arrest those behind the explosion. It is a known fact that Edo, besides being a hub of culture in Nigeria, it is also known to be a very peaceful state until recently when the state started recording incidents like this. However, for peace-loving Edo indigenous and residents, their wish can only be that there should be an end to incidents of this nature. From Benin, Best Mbire reporting.